Uh, this is my video response in regard to Mobility Today's uh, video about Verizon. He, he did a little test between a Verizon um, phone, their Trio 700W, and Sprint's Pocket PC. Now, I do not have Sprint's Pocket PC, but I do have a Trio 700W. And what uh, Mobility Today was saying was that he believes... He truly believes that Verizon Wireless is piping down their EVDO network. For those that don't understand what EVDO is, that's like uh, internet speeds. Kind of think of it in terms of like a dial-up versus like a DSL. Like EVDO would be like a DSL type of speed, except uh, wirelessly um, internet type of thing for for um, uh, phones on uh, CDMA networks, which is like what uh, US Cellular, Sprint, um, Altel, and Verizon Wireless use. Now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up the same web page that Mobility Today used. Now, I turned down the brightness of my uh, trio so you can see that. Uh, so hopefully you can see a little bit better. But that's the same website. That's DSL Reports forward slash M Speed. That's uh, for mobile speed. So you can kind of test that out. His first test, he went ahead and he, he did a 600K uh, test. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click that. 600k and it's the test is now in progress and now on his phone his trio he was making claims that there was a delay now I was watching as that was occurring but I was also noticing that I didn't see any signal strength for EVDO coverage whatsoever um, now nine seconds it pulled that up that's 600k in nine seconds. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to do try it again. Same thing. Same, same, same test. Okay. I'm going to do 600k once again. Test is in progress. All right. Looks like it's done. Slide it over. Six, six under seven seconds. What did I? I don't know if you can see that easily, but 765 kilobytes a second. Um, the latency 0 0.691 um, and uh, 6.723 seconds download time. Under seven seconds for that. Now I believe you had also did a 200k as well um, on that video. I think the 600k is a little bit more important, but I'll go ahead and do the the 200k as well. So test is in progress. I'll be wrapping this up. I don't like my videos to last too long here. Um, oh my God! Now this, I did a 200k test. Here's the here's what I got back: unstable, too fast a result. Please choose a larger file. So by doing a 200k, apparently Verizon's EVDO speed was too fast um, for the website to pick up. So I'm going to go ahead. And I did 200k again. Test is in progress. Again, once again, unstable, too fast for a result. 2.771 seconds. Please choose a larger file. So I think that that truly, truly refutes your claims that Verizon is piping down their EVDO network. Now, it's very possible that you're just in a, a low coverage area. And you might be sitting right underneath the Sprint Tower. Uh, Verizon Tower could be miles away. That could be the case. Um, but I do live in a smaller town, so Verizon is not completely covered everywhere. I do have decent coverage, but I wouldn't say it's the most optimal coverage. But, I mean, just by this test here alone, it, it's showing that um, the speeds are that Verizon's advertising them to be. Um, but nice try.